Hi, I'm Rob Spielman, aka Lawyer Bob, and I recently had the joy of uh, posting my uh, DAT results on the Orgoman DAT Destroyer Study Group, as well as getting the good news I've been accepted to NYU Dental School. And I wanted to share uh, my DAT prep tips with you because I get a lot of questions from people ask me, like, how do you do so well? Specifically, how do I get a 30? Uh, in, organ in the organic chemistry section. So I wanted to walk you through what I did. My uh, uh, preparation essentially involved uh, just using the DAT Destroyer book, uh, going through all the problems, particularly uh, in organic chemistry, um, where I felt that I needed a little bit uh, <clears throat> buffing up. I used the Orgo, uh, the, uh, the Organic Chemistry Odyssey uh, book as well. Um, and uh, I found that, that if you go through all the destroyer problems, you should be uh, all set for organic chemistry. Uh, with regard to uh, Gen Chem, I uh, used, uh, again, do all the problems in the destroyer. You can't go wrong, but in addition, I found that using the uh, Raymond Chang uh, chemistry text, doing uh, some additional homework problems in there uh, really helped me because honestly, Gen Chem is really just all about practice problems and doing as many of them as you can. Uh, a lot of people also write to me, ask me about bio and how that, how I prepared for that. Biology, uh, for better or worse, is very much about brute force memorization, a lot of it. Again, um, go through all the destroyer problems. And the great thing about uh, the bio destroyer is that uh, they are conceptually keyed for the topics that you will see on the DAT. And what I found helped me was I went through and created question by question mnemonics uh, for all the various topics that you kind of need to commit to memory. And it's really that creative process of uh, making those mnemonics that really helped me uh, cement the concepts and ideas in, uh, in my brain. Uh, with regard to the other sections, uh, QR, I used the Math Destroyer uh, and then the QR Destroyer in the bigger destroyer book, I found that those were uh, just on point, exactly what you'd expect to see. Um, you know, a lot of people might say, uh, like, some of these questions are overkill. I don't think there is such a thing. I think that the questions are, are exactly what you should uh, reasonably expect to see on the DAT. Uh, with Pat, I didn't use anything special. I mean, I just used YouTube tutorials and some online resources. I certainly didn't spend any money on any kind of additional Pat training, uh, you know, but again, you need to figure out where you're uh, weaker and where you're stronger on the PAT section and then uh, practice those areas that you need to uh, strengthen. And then uh, for reading comprehension, uh, I will say that you, I mean, I went, as a former attorney, I did reading for a living. So that, that certainly helped, but I would say that you should uh, practice the reading passages uh, that are posted in the study group. Uh, go to Wikipedia and just do deep dives and random topics. Uh, try to read full screen width uh, text that's single space because that's what you're going to see on the DAT. You're not going to be reading narrowly, uh, narrow one and a half spaced, easily digested text. It's going to be a little bit more dense and a little bit tougher to skim on the actual DAT. So you should practice reading in that format. Um, at any rate, that's was uh, those are my uh, 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 DAT prep tips in a nutshell, um, and they help me uh, do really well. So I just wanted to uh, do this video so I can uh, thank the DAT Destroyer team and Dr. Romano for creating such a fine product.